The Tottenham Hotspur team news ahead of our game at the Amex Stadium against Brighton on Wednesday. Skip, Tanganga and Cessnion all remain out. Some fixture changes in April. Antonio Conte has come out and said that Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris and Hunmin Son have to lead the situation to keep us in the hunt for the top four spot at the end of the season. Reports are stating that Spurs have made an offer for Barcelona star Memphis Depay. Reports are stating that PSG want Fabio Prasci, but he is committed to Tottenham. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start by talking about the Tottenham Hotspur team news ahead of our next Premier League clash. Antonio Conte said there's no change on the injury front as we head to Brighton Hove Albion in the Premier League on Wednesday, kickoff 7.30pm. That means that Oliver Skip Groin, uh, Javit Tanganga knee and Ryan Sessegnon muscular injury all remain sidelined. Antonio Conte said no news. The same players are available for the game against Brighton. The same players that were available against Manchester United. Antonio Conte was then asked about Oliver Skip, who has been sidelined since our 2-0 defeat at Chelsea on the 23rd of January and said for sure he's a player that we need. I think for the player in this moment, it is really frustrating. He's very young. He's got a lot of energy. He's a really good guy. And to be injured for him, I'm especially disappointed and frustrated for him and for this situation. Now for some fixture updates concerning Premier League games for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. The Premier League broadcast selection process for the final three rounds of April has now been completed. Two of our three games have been selected for live coverage. Our home game against Brighton Hove Albion remains on Saturday the 16th of April, but will now kick off 12.30pm and that one will be live on BT Sport. Our trip to Brentford is now a 5.30pm kickoff on Saturday the 23rd of April. That one will be live on Sky Sports. There is a caveat on that match at the Brentford Community Stadium though, uh, with the fixture subject to change dependent on the participation of English sides in the Champions League. Our meeting with Leicester City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium remains a 3pm kickoff on Saturday the 30th of April, but should they progress to the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League, the fixture is likely to move to Sunday the 1st of May. Spurs head coach Antonio Conte had his press conference on Tuesday ahead of the Brighton game on Wednesday in the Premier League. And he has called on Harry Kane and co to use their experience and big talent to lead Spurs into that Champions League qualification as he insists 100% is not enough. In the press conference, Antonio Conte said, if you want to have hope to fight until the end for this type of target, this is the moment I have to ask a lot to the big players. To Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris and Hunmin Son, these players have to lead the situation to keep us until the end there. At the moment, experience is very important. We don't have a lot of experience in this team and it's right to ask the players with experience and big talent to give everything. I think they're giving everything, but 100% is not enough. We need to ask 120, 130% to have this type of target. It will be very important to have people and great talent to lead us until the end and try and be very close to reach this target. Antonio Conte then went on to say, but I think that in this moment, Arsenal seems favourite for fourth place and United. But don't forget there's also West Ham and don't forget Wolverhampton Wanderers.
They're having a fantastic season and they're in the same position. In England, it is not easy. It is not simple. When you start the season, normally you think it's four top clubs that in the end, these four top teams go into the Champions League. Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea and Liverpool. But last season, Liverpool struggled to even reach their place in the Champions League. This season, it's happening to United. This league is very difficult. Now, my thoughts on Antonio Conte's comments, uh, certainly, um, you know, saying about Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris and Hunmin Son, you know, giving 120%, 130% in these remaining 11 games in the Premier League. Of course, we need every single player to be doing this right now. And, you know, we've got 11 games left. We've got 33 points to play for. Of course, all of the fans, Antonio Conte, everybody um, at the club want Champions League football. Um, but we are really going to need to, you know, pull this out of the bag and work extremely hard if we are going to achieve Champions League football for next season. But, you know, Harry Kane has come out publicly in the last 24 hours or so uh, stating that he wants to be playing in the Champions League. You know, give us the performances now until the end of the season and, uh, and get us there. You know, it's going to be hard graft to do it, but every single player needs to give their all uh, to have any chance of that top four spot. A report has just been published by the Daily Mirror and in fairness, in the last 24 hours or so, this report has been published by every single media outlet. Uh, the Daily Mirror are stating that Spurs have made early transfer moves to snatch Memphis Depay from Barcelona. It states that Spurs have already begun to make early moves ahead of the summer transfer window as director of football Fabio Prasci proposes offer to sign the former Manchester United attacker from the La Liga Giants. In the main report, it says that Tottenham Hotspur have reportedly made an early offer to sign Memphis Depay from Barcelona this summer. Spurs have already wasted away their three opportunities to win silverware this season and will once again go another campaign without a trophy. But that has prompted the club to already begin planning ahead for next season, with it looking like real attempts to win some silverware are set to be made. And former Manchester United winger Depay is at the top of the list with director of football Fabio Prasci making advances to lure the Dutch international to North London in the next transfer window. According to reports in Spain, uh, they are claiming that Spurs have already made an offer to Depay as they look to bolster their ranks for next season. And also in this report, it says, as quoted by Barca Universal, an offer has already been put in place as Spurs look to gain the upper hand on other admirers by getting in early. Depay only joined the Catalans in the summer, signing a two-year deal after arriving on a free transfer upon the expiry of his contract at Lyon. He became the main focal point of Barcelona's attack following the departure of Lionel Messi to PSG in the summer and has racked up 10 goals in Spain this season. Reports have been published in the last 24 hours from The Athletic and they are stating that according to reports in France, PSG are likely to part ways with sporting director Leonardo and are keen on Tottenham's Fabio Prasci as a potential successor. The Athletic are stating that the uh, French club are believed to have approached Fabio Prasci on multiple occasions as recently as last summer before the Italian joined Tottenham. But the Athletic understands there has been no fresh contact and that Fabio Prasci is fully committed to the North London side. So our Premier League game kicks off at Brighton at 7.30pm on Wednesday evening. Tottenham Hotspur are currently 8th in the Premier League. We have played 27. We have won 14. We have drawn 3. We have lost 10. We have a goal difference of plus 7. We have 45 points. Brighton at the moment are 13th in the Premier League. They have played 28. They have won only 7. They have drawn 12 and lost 9. They have a goal difference of minus 8. They have 33 points. The match officials for the Brighton v Tottenham Hotspur clash, the referee will be Robert Jones. His assistants will be Darren Can and Derek Eaton. The fourth official will be Graham Scott. Uh, VAR, Lee Mason. Assistant VAR, Matthew Wilkes. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, 
trips abroad and more. Just go to our website www.footballprizes.co.uk